Jeff Hardy's been released by WWE, according to Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful. No other details are known as of the time of this writing. Sapp said he was told, quote, WWE offered Jeff Hardy help and rehab, and it was not accepted. So for those of you that don't know what happened here, they were doing a house show in Edinburgh, Texas. It was Xavier and Drew McIntyre and Jeff Hardy against Roman Reigns and the Usos. So they were getting the heat on Jeff Hardy, and he sold and sold, allegedly got more sluggish as the match went on, made the big hot tag, and then got out of the ring and left through the crowd, at which point he was sent home and did not work the rest of the tour. So I don't know what happened, and I didn't know what happened, but I was hoping, I was hoping that what happened was he suffered maybe a concussion during the match, and as a result of that, he wasn't quite sure what was going on, and so instead of walking to the back, he walked through the crowd. Uh, this would be bad, obviously, to get such a bad concussion that you don't know where you are and you're walking through the crowd, but that would be superior to a situation where WWE has offered Jeff Hardy help and rehab as a result of this incident. It was in his third run with the company after returning with Matt in a surprise at Mania 2017. Hardy has run afoul of the law several times, spending 10 days in jail in 2011 for a 2009 drug bust, arrest for trafficking controlled prescription pills, arrested for public intoxication July 2019, and October 2019. He was arrested and charged with a DUI in North Carolina. So, I mean, it has not been made public if this is a situation with drugs or alcohol, but obviously offering the guy rehab would certainly indicate that. I mean, if he had, WWE is not going to fire somebody who suffered a concussion in the match and was concerned for their well-being and walked out on the match. They're, they're just not going to do that. But um, obviously something happened here, and as I've said, you know, a million times, unless unless you're Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and even if you're Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, you're going to get a, a lot of rope, so to speak. But we are in a situation now where I have said this before, I'll say it again, I believe 100% that this company is putting their ducks in the row in a row, for a situation where someone comes and says, I want to buy this company. I'm not saying they're actively in negotiations to sell right now, but I think that they are preparing for somebody making them an offer. That's why they have a talent budget, even though they're making $40 million in profit every single quarter. Every quarter, they are profiting $40 million. They're, they're firing people left and right. They've got a talent budget. Bro, you got anything anything that's even the slightest bit questionable and they're going to get rid of you. So he's gone. That's the story. I wish all the best to Jeff Hardy. Hopefully whatever is the situation here, he gets it figured out. Absolutely. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to add to that other, you know, for me, other than I hope he, he does get better. Uh, you know, people in the chat, you know, well, what about an Uso? Well, look, yeah, people make mistakes and you could have fired Jimmy Uso. But if he is willing to get help, then, you know, they're looking at that as a medical issue. And they offer Jeff Hardy help. Jeff Hardy has been offered help in the past and he has done what he has done. Again, it's he's had a lot of ups and downs. You just want to hope the best for him. And you can't force somebody to get help. And you just hope that. Those around them, and he, he realizes that, you know, whatever it is, he needs to fix it. So, I mean, it's really all you can say about that. Everybody's going to twist themselves into a knot of what WWE should do or Jeff Hardy and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's his life. And, and again, there's only so much WWE can do to try to help the guy. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. 
Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.